Got a couple veteran relic hunters with me today. And uh, we're going to get down in some of these ravines and bottoms and look for some uh, heavy metal. I got a veteran relic hunter, uh, Steve Hicks, with me today. Uh, local guy, been hunting for 35, 40 years. He's going to be down with us today, man. Glad you're with us today, Steve. And then also got Buddy Axhammer from a uh, local guy from Petersburg. He's down here hunting with us today. So, guys, we're going to get down in here. We're going to try to uh, get some heavy iron out of here and, uh, and show you guys some good stuff today. Made it down into the low area here. And uh, as you can see here, we're down close on some swampy area. And we're going to work our way around to the edge of this stuff and just listen for big iron. Uh, Steve and Buddy, they're working their way up alongside of the hill and stuff now. And we'll kind of just work the swampy low-lying areas here and uh, see if we can find some impact iron. Got another really, really strong iron reading here. And uh, it's not that deep, but I want you guys to hear this and how shallow this thing is. It's definitely going to be a shell frag. It's not that deep. So I'm going to pop it up real quick and we can watch this thing come up out of the ground. Just hit it with the shovel. Not gonna be that deep. And there it is right there. Look at that. It'll be a nose section. Oh man, look at the size of that one. Whew. That's gonna be a, to a big parrot right there. Oh, that's nice. Big old frag right there. All right. Only about an inch or two deep in these ravines. Alrighty, off to the next hole. Yeah, sitting here with Daniel, and uh, Daniel's got him another big piece of iron up underneath a tree here, and he's getting ready to pull it out there, and he got himself another solid chop ball. All right, man. Hey, buddy. Hold that bad boy up. Congrats, buddy. Way to go. And just got me a beautiful, strong signal down about 18 inches or so. And I want you guys to take a look at this while I'm taking it out of the hole. Got a nice signal. It was uh, pitching real high and low, back and forth. But that's what I came after today. And look at that. What we have here is a 10 pound parrot. Beautiful, beautiful. Unearthed after 150 some years. Let's pop that thing out for you guys to take a look at. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Yeah, baby. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Get the sad stuff on it there. But this thing ought to clean up fantastic. All right. Yes, sir. Good job, man. Good job there. All right. Well, we're going to head back to fellas on another hill, and we're going to see what else we can get into. Yeah, back in the ravines again today. Motoring around. Get everybody kind of spread out and stuff. And I'm up in a little cut and you can see here a lot of falling down trees and stuff like that all back in behind me but I uh, just walking along got a heavy iron reading kicked the leaves back and I got a navel shell frag sitting right underneath the leaves right there on top of the ground and you actually see where this one this uh, little circle right there with a the, uh, navel fuse went on it nice chunk of iron right there We'll take that, and we're going to move off to the next hole. Well, I've been digging some uh, grape shot or small cannonballs out here, and um, I've dug three so far. I just dug one right here, and I got another iron signal. Now, this one was a little deeper, but... Uh, I just scraped the dirt away and I see something right here, so I'm going to pop her out and see if it's not. Oh yeah. It's another one.
Well, been looking for shells today, and uh, just found a, uh, a ground burst shell. It looks like a shinkle shell. Uh, here's the frags I've pulled out of there so far. There's more signals in the hole. Here's where it's exposing the part of it. I'm working my butt off, but I'm excited. I've been wanting to find these for one of these for a while. I'm hoping the uh, fuse is in there too. But uh, stay tuned. here with JT got a call from him a little while ago and he didn't got into a nice one here and recovering a ground burst shankle shell he's already pulled out probably close to about 10 15 pieces of it right here beautiful piece there's the base section to it he's got a whole bunch of the sidewall pieces uh, section where the nose fuse was uh, he's down in there pretty deep Another piece down in there. All right, buddy. Uh, yeah, buddy, get her done, man. Sweat. Get her done. <laughs> we gonna get it. Yeah. We'll come back in a few minutes, man. Let him dig some more here. Oh shit! I'm not better than there. Sorry. That's all right. Another big old section down in there. Looks like this shell went nose first. They got the tail section out already, up about a foot or so from the surface and it looks like the rest of the nose is down probably well over getting close to three feet another section right on down in there there we go another big old section of it right there nice 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 getting down to a little bit more sections of it there another nose piece down yeah, it's not a big chunk right there. I guess he's down probably close to 30 some inches now on the ground, laying on his belly. <laughs> That's some hard dirt. Yeah, that's a big section right there. It looks like it's on. There you go, man. Sweet. <laughs> yeah. <laughs>